Welcome to another episode of The, the Epic, Epic Family, Family Road, Road Trip. Trip. Hey guys, Happy New Year. It is January the 1st, 2020. Can you believe that? A brand new year, a brand new decade, a brand new adventure. We're here in Urbana, Ohio with our family here. We just spent the holidays, Christmas, New Year's last night, which was a blast. But now we're packing up and getting ready to start season five of the Epic Family Road Trip. We're gonna be heading south to get some work done on our Jeep and to explore in uh, Texas, some places. Uh, we've been, uh, years ago we went down with our motorhome to uh, Big Bend. We're hoping to get down there and do some wheeling with both Jeeps now. But our job right now is packing. This is literally, it's gotta be the third time we've packed and gone through all of our gear and trying to get things smaller and smaller and smaller so that we can fit into the two Jeeps uh, nice and tight. Now eventually we're gonna have a roof rack on, on the new Jeep and that'll give us a lot more space and at some point we're gonna get back to Oregon and pick up our trailer which has another rooftop tent and a lot of storage space. So space isn't gonna be a problem soon but for the next month to month, well about a month and a half we're gonna be uh, kind of roughing it so um, we have no RV, so we just have the space we have, but also sp we just have the one rooftop tent right now. The other one's in Oregon, uh, you know, 5,000 miles away. So the kids are going to be uh, using the side tent off of here, the ARV side tent like we did in New Zealand, and also setting up uh, just a pop-up uh, tent, camping ground tent. Yeah, we're just going to figure it out as we go. Um, we've done this before, but uh, this year it's a little different because we are just in the Jeeps and it's going to be an epic adventure. This is going to allow us to get off, way off road and camp in some pretty remote spots. Come with us on an epic journey called Season 5. Slowly. Wow, that's it. I'm getting there. This, I cannot wait to try out. This is the new bathroom that we got, the Thunderbox. And I love just its shape, it barely takes up any room. Oh, just trying to organize it. I'm sure I'll reorganize it as we, we travel. But for now, this is what I think is best. In it. It's January 2nd. We are on our way south. We had an awesome time up in Urbana for a couple of weeks and now we're heading towards Oklahoma. But we're, we jumped on the freeway just to make some headway and get as far south as we can. So it's going to be a little bit cold up here and uh, we don't want to be camping right now in the snow. So um, in season five, we're going to be doing back roads and off road as much as possible and, and avoiding the freeways. But for right now, we just want to get down there. So that's what we're doing. I-75 South. What are you doing? got his entire bed and he sits right on me. So guys, it's January 2nd and it's official. We are in season five. 
I could hardly sleep last night. I had so much going on, like what we were packing, how we were gonna do it. But um, yeah, so a big thank you to Keith and Caitlin, my brother and my sister-in-law for letting us spend Christmas and New Year's with them. I don't wanna get emotional, but we miss you guys and we look forward to seeing you in Arizona sometime. But yeah, so season five, here we go. didn't get as far down the road as we had hoped. We were trying to get into Tennessee, but it's uh, getting getting on for time. And so we just pulled over at a campground and uh, we're setting up our tents, we'll spend the night here, and tomorrow we'll hit the road again. Hopefully the weather improves because it it's been raining all day. There we go. Hope it doesn't stop raining. Hope Landon to be a good boy. Amen. Okay. He didn't want to sit down. He was like, <laughs> Amen. Why don't you get some paper towels here and wipe his paws off to go in there? Yeah, and he'll probably go to sleep. Good morning from rainy Kentucky. My goodness, did we get rained on last night. So, this is our first night of 2020 camping, and uh, it poured rain all night. It's still raining now, but it's eased up a bit. So we have a lot of wet sleeping bags and gear right now. So hey, start day one in the rain. It's all uphill from there. All right, I'm getting the coffee ready. Step one on a rainy day when everyone's cold and wet. Get some coffee inside there. Threw up some beautiful coffee. Needs the plastic bags. What's that? Yeah. All right, let's do this thing. Pete, you're going up to get soap? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Got a full puddle of water in my shoes. Huh? My shoes and socks are now soaked. Stepped on the front tire and a big puddle of soap ran Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Gonna help, man, though? Yeah. You gonna help? I got to get this up ready. No. Come on, boy. Good. You're helping. Overlanding configurations, uh, rooftop tenting is by far the um, roughest, roughing it the most. I mean, we see people pull up in covered trailers, <clears throat> like uh, what do you call it? Teardrop. Teardrop. We see people pulling up in teardrops, and anytime you have four hard walls, whether it's a trailer, or an RV, or whatever it is, it's so much easier than rooftop tenting. 
when the weather's bad. When the weather's good, it's not an issue, but just think about it. We're putting away our tent now, and this thing's soaking wet, and wherever we drive today, when we arrive to sleep again, everything's gonna be soaking wet still. And we don't even know if we're gonna go far enough to see um, some hot sun to dry these out, so it could be wet for days, right? That could be an issue, so. Anyway, it's uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's um, it's the it's roughing it. So we're looking at other options eventually to have like a pop-up camper on our Jeep, like Ursa Minor type thing, um, because then you've got the four walls again, right? But anyway, we're taking her down. Pete, grab that corner and just pull up. It's December 3rd and we are we just crossed into Arkansas. We're trying to get up the road a ways. Uh, we've been under a huge cloud for the last couple of days and uh, haven't seen the sun. But apparently, hopefully tonight we're driving out of it and it should be sunny and warm tomorrow. Our goal was to get away from the cold weather and I think we've done that. We've, we've got still about two and a half hours drive so we'll be arriving pretty late at our camp spot. But looking forward to it. After that, um, we're gonna arrange to meet up with our friends at Exploration Outfitters and start talking about the, uh, the build-up for this Jeep. Stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. Because it's cold and we got soaked last night, we are we rented a little cabin. I don't know if that's true overlanding or not, but at this point we don't care. We just need to warm up, right Caroline? What is this place? What is this place? Lando, come. Come in. Hey guys, so that's it for this week's video. We had a great night's sleep in the cabin. We're able to dry off all our sleeping bags and our tents and everything. Um, and then we continued west. So stay tuned for next week's video. I uh, hope you subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell to be notified of all the adventures ahead. We have a lot of great things coming up in 2020, including retrofitting our JLU in the next couple of weeks. You're not gonna wanna miss it. And in the meantime, 
We'll see you down the road.